Hello. Oh, well, 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 look who's back. Look who's back on the video business. I didn't have much of an intro planned there, can you tell? Hiya, welcome back. It's been a while since I've been on this channel, about four years, I think. Um, a lot's changed. I moved out, I moved back in, I went to college, I'm nearly going to university. You can't see it, but behind me there's actually a tortoise. A lot has changed on the FMEM ver uh, real life side of things. Um, I don't know why I'm going to say FMEM, my name's Aaron. Um, a, lot of, a lot's changed in Aaron's life since, uh, yeah, since I last uploaded here. But, I've got back into football recently, I, I kind of fell out of love with it. Um, I don't really know why, I just kind of, I think these things happen, you, you become obsessed for something for so long that eventually you start to kind of, you know, lose interest in it a little bit. I think I think the uh, Covid didn't help either with there being no football on, but I've got back into it. I'm actually looking to do more coaching badges, I already have two coaching badges, um, so I'm starting to get back into that. And yeah, I thought, you know what, why don't we hop back on this, because I, I always love making videos, uh, and I love football, so, you know. Let's, uh, let's try and make some videos on this. As you saw from that little graphic at the start, we're doing a save of Holstein Kiel. Um, I hope I'm saying that name right. Uh, I might even have got the whole thing wrong. Uh, I might have corrected that for the next video. Hopefully I won't have to. But <laughs> but yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna hop in with Holstein Kiel. As I record this video, they are third in the second Bundesliga, about to play Köln in a relegation slash promotion playoff. Um, he'll hosting Kiel get promoted if they win, you know the business like that. Um, and yeah, I was actually watching the Bundesliga highlight show about an hour ago. I saw them come up. I quite like their badge. Um, from what I've seen, they do have a bit of history in the German football kind of system. And I thought, yeah, let me hop onto that. Cause it, I can be a short attempt save, you know. I think the issue I had before when I started this this uh, channel was that I was like, you know what, I want to start at the bottom, all the way to the top in the Champions League, which I've not done yet. Um, and really, I, I kind of just, it kind of dragged on a bit. So yeah, we're going to start hosting Kiel. Go, get them to the Bundesliga, try and get European football, all that stuff. Let's get into it. Bang. So yeah, quickly, here's all the leagues we've got loaded. Uh, I like this new feature. They've got the kind of playable slash view only for below. That's quite cool. Uh, we've got quite a lot of German leagues here, but we're only going for the three, uh, third Liga and above. So yeah, let's get into it. I really should have done my research on hosting Kiel before. I've not even said that name right there. Fantastic, Aaron. Oh, I've got water. That's what I really need a drink. I'm dying. Right, so as you can see, we're in, we're in the second Bundesliga. Here's Holstein Kiel. I'm positive I'm getting that right. Predicted to finish ninth. Let's see how we do. Uh, this is the manager profile. We'll start with the Continental Pro License and the Professional Football one. All that stuff, because that's what's based on Holstein Kiel. There we go. Aaron M, welcome to Holstein Kiel. Wonder boys. So here's the club vision, end the current season, Bundesliga top half, reach the second round of the DFBL Poco. I think that's doable, I think that's more than doable, work towards playoffs, yeah well you know, considering they actually got playoffs this season, I think that should be more than achievable. When it comes to tactics on FM, I used to just kind of click the auto kind of create ones, but I've become, from watching football a lot recently, and kind of just playing it, doing some coaching, I've come up with a way that I quite like it to be played. I think it goes under wing play, um, but I'll set up the tactic and I'll kind of show you what I want, uh, and then I'll probably have to go into the transfer market and try and get players to that will fit into the system, because I've just looked at the squad there and I don't think we've got all the players we need for this. So here's the tactic. I've got two tactics loaded up. Um, we'll call it M-Ball, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> So the way it works is we have these four players, I'm pointing, you can't see me pointing. We have, I'll use the cursor, that's what it's for. We have these four players here that are up for attack. Uh, this box to box midfielder in the attack will come up into this area, kind of creating like a 4-1-5 a uh, attack while we have our deep line playing here kind of coming here to cover the back lines. Now we have two kind of attack uh, inside forwards. The idea with them is obviously they're built, that row is built to cut inside. The idea with them cutting inside, I'll just drag this along so you can see here. Well, they cut inside and will hopefully drag in the opposing team's fullbacks, where the wing backs can then come up and overlap. So let me just go back to what it was before. So you can see here, and we'll go into the actual tactical instructions. We are playing down the middle, so it'll come down this area. These players will come in from the left and right, but going narrowly will 
drawing the opposing team's um, formation as well, giving that width on the side for the overlaps left and right. So you can see here attacking width, narrow, passing directness and tempo, I don't really mess with them um, right at the start, I kind of see how, how the tactic works in the first few games and then we'll implement it into the rest of the season. Uh, in transition to the fullbacks, uh, they can then play it into the centre and out of possession we just have them pressing more urgent, there's not really any changes to the line of engagement and defence. Uh, you'll see here, as I stated, there's a second tactic, it's literally the exact same thing, uh, but it's just if we're not getting that kind of control in the centre of the area, we have a shadow striker come in, because again that would just give us more kind of attacking uh, power in that area. So that's how I like football to be played, that's how I like to watch it, um, and it's how I like to kind of implement it into these tactics. So yeah, you know, when you see that overlap come in, it gets cut into the box, it's, it's very satisfying to watch when you're a bit of a tactical nerd like myself. So the next big thing, we now need to go into our team report and see if there's any players that will actually fit into this. I'm sure there's some just from looking at the squad analysis, there seems to be like there's some that will be alright, but we will have to dip into the transfer market I think. So we've got our assistance report here and to be honest, it looks alright. Uh, I'm quite happy with who we've got in the centre of the park, you know, centre backs, the uh, box, box midfielder, deep line playmaker, they all look alright. Wing backs, three star, fine by that, fine by me. Uh, goalkeeper, two and a half star, might need to dip into the transfer market for one of them. We've got Joe, C I'm calling him Joe, I don't even know his name's Joe. Uh, Gianni Luca Sierra, who's looking quite, quite a decent pressing forward, and Benjamin Girth, that's some name, as our attacking forward. He, Star wise, he isn't looking fantastic, but I mean, he's not really built to be an advanced forward. Uh, he is a fringe player, so we can probably get in, into the transfer market and bring a player, and he won't really complain. That's one thing I found if you've got a tactic, you build it, and you're like, oh, this player is not really that good, but for some reason on his contract, he's a star player, it can be a bit of an issue to bring someone in because he's like, oh, you're not giving me my playing time. I'm like, it's because you're shite. Get out. Right. Now the big one, let's check the finances to see what we were working with. We have an overall transfer budget of £456,000 with a wage budget of £160,000. We're currently spending 140 of that a week, which is, I don't know if it's just me, but that seems like a lot for this league. Right, so we will dip into the transfer market, we'll try and get some players. I think we want to advance forward and a uh, goalkeeper. Let me just check, what is the goalkeeper looking like? Is he on a... Is he a registered? He's a backup as well. Okay, so that's fine. He, he actually looks alright, to be honest with you. 28 years old as well, so he's come into his prime as a goalkeeper. So, it's a good backup. Might not be a priority to get a goalkeeper, but, you know, we live and we learn. And if we just look at the schedule here, we've got a few friendly matches before we play FC Duran in the DFP Poco first round. So, I think, what, do we want to get into the second round? Yeah, that should be no problem. I think they're a regional team, aren't they? Yeah, they're from the middle right. They're from they're from somewhere. I know that for a fact. They're somewhere in this world. One thing I like to do as well, look at that kit. That's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous kit. One thing I've noticed, it's more like a visual thing for me, is that like if I try and do, for example, like a journeyman save or whatever, the club could have a lot of money compared to their league. But if the badge or the kit looks atrocious, I, it just doesn't do it for me. And it's not just an FM, it's in when I'm watching my TV, which is over there. Um, if I see a team with a terrible kit, I, I don't know, I just don't want them to win. I don't like horrible looking kits. This, however, is a gorgeous looking kit. I'm very happy. I would wear that to the gym. Um, I've currently got a gym top on right now. Have I worked out today? No, I haven't. I ate over 2,000 calories today. Most of that was dinner with pasta. So yeah, quick look at the squad. I mean, who's, our, who's technically their best player? Jonas, Jonas Meffert, who's currently wanted by a Bundesliga team. Yeah, by Wolfsburg. He's 25. He's actually really good. Um, could play that deep line uh, playmaker role on defence. I really don't want him to go now that I've looked at him. He looks like he could be quite a star player for us. Uh, Lee Young Soon. Uh, again, another good looking player. Could play that shadow shadow striker role. I mean, he's a star player, so he might have to play this one just to appease him. Um, but yeah, he can play that shadow striker role in our second tactic, so that's always good. Gianni Sira, who we've already looked at, 22 years old. I mean, yeah, he could be all right pressing forward on attack. Looks decent. Mentals are very good. I'm not too keen on that aggression. I don't know. I'm starting a fight in the middle of the pitch. Alexander Buehling. 
Again, a deep line, a box to box. He's going to be a box to box midfielder. I think he's a regular star. He's only 27 years old. He's looking all right. Finishing a 10 could be worked on. Could be worked on. But again, we're in the second tier of Germany. We're not. We're not creating stars here. I think the squad itself looks quite bare. That's just a visual thing that I've noticed. The squad looks a bit bare. Um, I think. I think we, we have got a decent first team from what I'm seeing. We've got an okay first team, but we might need some backups. So again, we'll go into the transfer market. Nineteen thousand. What's kind of like? What are people? What are the players getting paid in this league? Nineteen thousand. He's getting five five thousand pound a week. Are you mad? Are you mad? So that's how much like a, a decent player is in this league. I'm, I'm assuming. So could probably bring in two or three players maybe with that transfer budget we can we can shift it around a bit uh, not too much but it can be changed around look at the staff as well staff wise yeah we're all right we've got too many coaches but that's not our problem yet uh, best defending coaching in the league coaching wise we're actually doing quite well um scouts we could do with another scout physios we've got four four physios compared to the two that we're meant to have i don't know who's hiring these people but yeah, staff-wise, we're looking okay. Uh, director of football. That's one thing. I do like a director of football. Um, mainly because I can go to him and say, you know, recommend me a player. Give me someone. But, and then I can maybe like give him certain roles to like, dictate what goes on in the reserve teams and stuff like that. But that's kind of all they have when it comes to... That's all, I can't speak. That's all the role they kind of... Um duties that I'll give them that's what I meant to say that's all the duties that they get from me recruitment analysis I mean yeah we could could get in one of them but I'm more focused on bringing players than I am staff we'll check the development center I mean we've got we're looking all right I guess we've got Finn Porath Finn Finn Porath uh he's looking all right could go out on loan second team regular I've never seen that term before but I'm gonna I'm just gonna assume that that's a good thing and if you kind of go on to the club's overview here, you can see they have been on a bit of a a rise lately. You know, getting promoted from the regional leagues, from the dry, uh, third third league. Finishing third in their first season in the Bundesliga 2. Kind of dropped off a wee bit, but I mean, if you look at where they are, I mean, 20 years ago. I mean, they, they've, they've, come, they've come quite far. They've done all right. So I think our job is obviously now just to continue that rise and hopefully we can get them into the Bundesliga so I'm going to end it here uh, I feel like this has been quite a quick video I think that's how the videos will continue kind of this fast paced bang bang what's going on who's scoring goals who's overlapping <laughs> I'm talking nonsense um, yeah I'm sorry if I missed anything out I've not done a video like this in about three or four years so my apologies but we'll get back into the swing of it I've been Aaron, thank you very much if you've got this far, drop a like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to see more of this, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Where's my viewfinder? Let me turn that off. Bye.